All right, what's up YouTube? My name is Steven Foster. Wanted to do a quick video today talking about the new MacBook Pro. Uh, I have ordered it. Uh, for those of you who haven't been following my channel, I have been using the MacBook Pro 13 inch for about the last three years. Uh, before that, I was using uh, the older model of the 13 inch that had the HDMI, let's see if I get that to focus, HDMI, USB, and SD card slot. I uh, just kind of like the new MacBook Pro that's coming out, but I wanted to talk about one thing that I'm really, I'm really bummed that they did again on this product. Um, you see, the way that I've used, or actually, you know, I'll even just take this around, show you guys the way that I use this setup right here. Hold on a sec. Uh, is this is my NZXT Creator PC? I use that for some stuff. Um, I also use Mac. Uh, I enjoy using the Mac most of the time, um, and I would have actually liked an, a Mac Mini, but um, since we got the M1 Max in the MacBook Pros, that's a tongue twister, uh, I figured I'll replace this and uh, trade this in, get some money back on it, and uh, then uh, be able to do away with this four terabyte SSD, which if you look at the case, this case actually used to originally be a one terabyte spinning drive, but it's now hooked up to a SATA cable that's going to the Thunderbolt port there on the back to give me an extra four terabytes of SSD power. But if you notice something about this setup, I have uh, my CFast Express card slot here and my SD card slot connected over a USB cable right there. Um, on the new MacBook Pros, there's a problem. The HDMI and USB and I believe uh, there's one other port on that side. I think there's a HDMI, USB, and SD card slot on one side, and then the MagSafe power and two more USB ports along with the eight, um, along with the headphone jack are on the back side. And um, I'm gonna spin this around real quick. That's no good. That is no good because uh, how I use this setup, and I think a lot of people have these 12 South. Uh, laptop docks or maybe if you like having your laptop where the cables can kind of hang out off the back of your computer if you're plugging it into like a desktop setup um, it kind of sucks that sort of if you want to not have to use up a USB port to connect power then the HDMI port has to be connected on the other side if you want to not have to dongle off of ba basically either if you want to have power and video coming off of one side you either need to use an adapter to get HDMI off of one end and then the MagSafe power, I guess, on the back end, or flip it around the other way and get MagSafe power, or sorry, or get USB power, and then I guess uh, then you can use HDMI into that port. It's really not a great setup. It's the same problem, actually, that this old MacBook Pro from like 2013, I think it is, had, is if you set it down here, the power's on one side, HDMI's on the other side, so you kind of are forced to just set this on your desk, taking up a bunch of desk space, cables coming out both sides, or if you're using that sort of uh, 12 south arc configuration, uh, you just you still have cables coming out both sides. It's not a great scenario. I don't know why that decision was made again. Um, I am thankful to have some normal ports back like HDMI and the SD card slot. Uh, three USB-C or Thunderbolt connection points is uh, welcomed as well, but it has been a while since this has been done. I, f I feel like uh, this is the old black MacBook. I don't know how many of you remember this. Uh, this was kind of like the 13-inch MacBook Pro before there was a 13-inch MacBook Pro. Uh, but what was really great about this laptop was it had all of these ports all on one side, and it had a disk drive on the other side, which I rarely used. Uh, but this was a great computer, and I, I just wish that more computers were made like this, where you kind of just have everything stacked on one side, or if you're gonna put the SD card slot up front, if you wanna have it in that kind of configuration, that's maybe cool, maybe put one USB port on this side, but um, I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, that's a small gripe. I'm really looking forward to being able to edit 4K video without having to use proxies. Um, even with the NVIDIA 2080 Ti on my NZXT Creator PC, I have to make proxies for the R5 footage just because the the bit rate on it is so deep and the I think it's 12 bit color that's coming off of this camera. So it's just a lot. Um, um, my hope is that these new M1 Max chips can uh, chew through that without having to make proxies. I spend like hours doing that, whether it's on either of these computers. Um, 
so I am looking forward to that. But I wanted to make this video to get people thinking about that because uh, I think that's something that just shouldn't be there. I think uh, it's a great step to get some ports back, but uh, I would like the port layout to make a little bit more sense, uh, especially now that more people I think are working from home because of everything that's happened in the last couple of years. I know I'm here working here in my office at home. Uh, and so most of the time my laptop is uh, clamshelled up. I do take it on the go every once in a while, but even still, I, I would like to not have to have a basic setup require cables and dongles coming off of both sides. I just feel like that's a, yeah, that's a miss. So I uh, wanted to make this video, wanna let you all know what I was thinking about the new M1 Mac Pro. I will get it in hand hopefully soon and be able to do a look at it with you guys. But until then, uh, please subscribe to this channel if you are not already, and I'm honored by all of you who already have. Thank you so much. Be kind both in life and in the comments below, and like this video to send good vibes across the internet, and we'll do it again soon. Later.